뭐야? 음, maybe I can do something to like not with the notebooks. Even though I am gonna finish the third one. Don't know where it is. Stands underneath. Like it's. Oh, and the webcam is not capturing anything good right now. I'll fix that. But Chris Magama. No, 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 no. Less contrast. It's the only way you can let your webcam see in, see in the dark. It's not pretty, but it makes it obvious where I am. There. That looks... That looks better. Let's see how it looks like in the game view. More Curcraft. There's one thing I want to mess around with. You know what I want to mess around with, though? <laughs> oh, no. I want to mess around with. Well, Mary's crying. Yeah, if you don't know, I've already said that Mary cries at everything. But that was only scripted. Now it's not just scripted. It can happen if an enemy hurts you enough. Yeah, let me demonstrate that. <laughs> Notice that the tiger hasn't caused Mary to cry yet. It seems like it's not even there yet. But once he hits her enough, she'll have enough and start reacting to the pain. It, it, as long as it doesn't somehow miss her, it's like it knows she's going to cry. It doesn't want to hear that horrible sound that comes out of her mouth in a few seconds. There. Once she's hit hard enough, then she starts crying, and that slows her down, because, well, she focuses more on crying than on running fast. Probably you might think, oh, well, that's not bad, it's, it's just her making noises as she reacts to her pain. That's not bad. Well, it gets worse. If you let an enemy hurt you enough, Mary will start crying more loud and stuff. That was not it. Yeah, I practically to transform though, just so you can keep hurting me. Because if they don't hurt you, then after a while, then the crying wears off. Oh, wow, I'm just gonna lie. There you go. You hear that? Now Mary's crying a lot. She doesn't even care anymore. She's just crying as loud as ever. For long enough, she actually will stop doing this and will turn back to just reacting to pain. I still have an answer to that. Because there's one problem with her crying at the moment. When she starts crying louder like this, she really doesn't want to stop, like she never dies. Look at the one that hit me again. Listen, it hasn't stopped yet. If any of you um hated Baby Mario and Yoshi's Island, you will hate Mary two times as much as you hate Baby Mario because her crying is a different amount of crying, and it never stops. No way in this. <laughs> Well, there's one way to reduce it. That's by giving her a juice box. She keeps crying while she drinks it, though. <laughs> it really doesn't seem to be helping. <laughs> there, it suddenly stops. Doesn't require much for her to cry like that, though. There. However, we need to find out what's going on with the crying, though. I'm gonna find this out by intentionally printing it to the screen. It's a variable called pain count, and oh yeah, but if you're curious, though, 
don't worry about it happening in deathmatch or something. I made it so that it doesn't happen in deathmatch. Oh. Yes. I'm just gonna prove this. Deathmatch. Might go into a special stage. Let's just summon the tiger. Yeah. You may think, oh, it's just coincidence. No, I can only force the crying script to happen. I've set. See, but some of the code is still left over, see? There's still the cry untransformed thing. But maybe she isn't actually crying. Shut up! However, I can force her to look like she's crying, but she doesn't make the noise. If you want to hear the horrible sound that she makes when she cries, it can always be done like this. That's only if you want to hear that horrible noise, but other than that. But now we now really just have to debug What's going on, and why does she never stop crying when she starts crying hard enough? Because, obviously she's supposed to stop crying after a while, but that just doesn't happen. So let's just see what's happening. But then, The variables here. Every time she's done crying, then it changes that number. Now, and see, now it decreases a lot quicker whenever she starts crying like that. But notice how easy it is for her to start crying like this. Now, here's where she gets stuck in a never ending loop. Yeah, she has to cry like 40 more times before she finally stops doing this. Reason a lot before she cries. Like, where's the one she breathes in a lot? That one. She breathes in a lot before she cries. I don't know why she breathes in a lot. She probably should decrease this so that she doesn't wait as long to start crying. <laughs> Well, it turns out this one has to be increased. However, Just to ensure that I can change all these values. Because see, at the beginning of each level, Mary's pain count variable is set to a negative value, which increases every time you get hurt. Once it reaches like 10 or something, that's when she starts crying. In order for Mary to stop crying, she has to make this variable go somewhere else. However, though, I still think I have other things to program, like making it that over time if she isn't crying, then it will just decrease the variable so that she'll earn a sort of protection so that she won't cry at every hit after you mess up enough after a lull starts. There you go. On the there. I 
on there. Because I'm trying to make it so that weird speed up doesn't happen whenever you're still crying at the end. Like, you're still crying at the end because your pain count variable, it just does its normal programming. Well, what's so strange about it, though? What's strange is just how that whenever... Well, whenever you're finished crying, you're still crying, but... It speeds you up, and it doesn't make sense to be moving at normal speed while still hearing Mary cry. But still, we don't be supposed to do that. So I managed to fix it by making it just automatically set your variable to zero if it's below a certain amount. You'd think that this would make it intercept the crying ever beginning because it would just set to zero every time it checks. But no, it still lets you start crying. Also, how do you hear a horrible disappointing sound, by the way? Oh, and by the way, if you want to hear Mary cry at any time, just puke cry, and... <laughs> I'm wondering, how high does that number go, by the way? I think it's like 100 and something. Let's just cheat and give us a lot of... Should logically go up because I because I just got hurt. It should logically go up, but when it keeps going down, it's like game. Do you even notice I'm getting hurt anymore? It kind of bugs me that Mary may not cry as long as you know the player deserves to hear it. Let's see how high it can go though. It can only go up to 75 maximum. So yeah, you may have to hear Barry cry for a long time. But no. <laughs> There's barely any way to stop the crying. It would be interesting if I could pull off the juice box thing. Let's see, these delays right here is what, you know, throws it off. That really isn't needed anymore because it now can handle the code by itself. Let's see if it's Here's how it sets your pain count variable, by the way. In case you wonder, it just detects whenever there's a change between the variable between ticks. And whenever it is, then it just increases your pain count variable by that. Which means bigger hits from enemies like those dancing ghosts. They can really punish you and make you be stuck to hearing a bunch of crying. Unless you know where all the juice boxes are, because do note those are only in limited qu quantity. So <laughs> <coughs> if you run out of those, you'll be forced to hear a cry.
city marks. Yeah, well, that's all you down. Whoa, that somehow just ended the crying immediately. And here's where the forced crying thing comes in handy. And also, if you're curious, the child fruit is known for looking up weapons. However, though, it actually removes more of this if it successfully works. It, it, it removed it all! If you get a child fruit, it'll, it'll fix all of your crying. Whoa, how, how did they do 49? Wow. That's like what the dancing ghosts do. What? <laughs> Let's just give a bunch of juice boxes. I think if you give yourself multiple juice boxes, the code glitches out. Yeah, and it usually guarantees... It glitchily removes those and... And it makes you drink... How many juice boxes? Why don't you drink three? I only give her two. <laughs> she, she's able to use the power of the straws to generate another juice box. Oh, let's just demonstrate something about this dancing ghost, by the way. It's really glitchy and incomplete. But, you might think, oh, but enemies can't really stand Mary crying. You want proof? If these detect that you're crying, they just get mad at you. They jump at you over and over again. Here they go. See that? Look how cheap they're being! But they're being this cheap because they hear me crying. So they want so they want me to shut up! So they're hitting me on the head over and over again. Oh, and then they slide past the screen while dancing. So yeah, don't cry near these things, they hate it. If you somehow find out a way to cry near them. It seems that that juice box uh, glitch has no, you know, lower bounds, as they would say in programming. <coughs> so I have to set a lower boundary for how low that, that number can go. Because I don't want Mary to be immune to crying again. It sort of makes this really overpowered character have, well, a punishment. There's like a downside. How am I killing him so much? Don't mess with us! Oh, and try one. <laughs> if they kill you fast enough, then as you can see, look, the crying code is running, but for some reason I don't hear the crying. It's kind of strange, because Mary's object right there still exists. You can kill them before they even will activate their cheating code. But if, but if they ever hear you crying, they will tell you to... And yes, you didn't just hear that. There are new taunts for them when they kill you. 
If they kill you normally, you hear the typical ones. However, though, if they hear you crying and they kill you, they will be sure to tell you about it. Well, specifically the man. The, the, the girl doesn't. The girl doesn't say anything about the crying. It's kind of tricky to cause these to happen because you have to get hit by them without dying so she starts crying and then let them hit you. Stop crying! Yeah, they literally tell you to stop crying when they kill you. <laughs> ah! Wow. Oh, you couldn't even hear it! Wow. They kill you so fast! Before you ask, there's no Buddha mode left or whatever, so you can't just avoid dying and get hurt by them. Has to be enough to pull the there and send your power to town. Oh. Well, there's another way to do it. It's by killing yourself after they see you. Shut up! Stop crying! And that, that's what they say to you if you're ever crying when they kill you. The, the man will just yell at you to shut up. <laughs> that man cannot stand hearing Mary cry. After a while, I start to not be able to stand it myself. And yeah, it's I actually, before you ask, I actually did do the, the crying samples you hear there. Yeah, that's how I do the crying of Mary right there, Vicarious. Still, still, still more. <laughs> oh. Sonic Rush! That doesn't fit. Um, where's Sonic Rush? What do you say right there? How about the Sonic Rush sample is separate and isn't like, you know, it isn't like a part of the telescreen song. I mean, it's the same problem that Sonic Advance 3 has. But that doesn't mean I couldn't make a version that includes the announcer. It just does not sound right without him saying Sonic Advance 3! Unfortunately, not as good a version of Turbo Velocity. Original Turbo Velocity is awesome. Not the version of the DS version. It doesn't have a good sounding guitar for the intro. The intro guitar is hard to play. <laughs> Probably because it's pre rendered stuff. Still though, this level, by the way, you haven't seen it before, but can you tell what it's supposed to be? It's incomplete so far, but hopefully any Kirby uh, fan can recognize this. You don't know what it is, do ya? I'll give you a hint though. Oh. World of Kirbycraft, it started off as a Machinima series of the game 
this came from. I don't have any toys, we have a bunch of here. Oh, by the this new video. Go look at it. Oh, and by the way, I'm now past 300 subscribers. <laughs> Thanks for the over 300 subscribers. I don't seem to be like other YouTubers that have a special for it, but still. I don't think I'd be able to make anything special that would be different from what I normally make. I mean, like my notebox, and then do two walks of bacon and one quick But yeah, if you couldn't tell. It's the environment that you see in this video here. That's right. It's City Trial. Or Hell City. Hell City Tournament. Appearing in the Doom Engine. What you're seeing here is appearing in World of Kobecraft. I know there's only one floor here, but it's the best comparison so far. Bring up this screen. So <laughs> cool, cool, but so it's a huge. Here's where the camera's pointing, roughly. Sort of. It's more like it's. Over here, but look at the pink rocks. <laughs> yeah, it's another recolor of that same Legend of Zelda Wind Waker texture, the same one the water is using. But, yeah, it's amazing I can recolor that into so many different things. And it looks kind of like the texture from Kirby Air Ride, but it has more detail. It actually shines on the rocks, which are barely there in Kirby Air Ride. So, this, this is supposed to be that. I know it doesn't have the arches or the multiple floors, but I'm planning on making the floors at least have accurate layouts. Like, you know, have these edges be as accurate. Because since this is going to involve 3D floors, the Doom Engine was not really made with verticality in mind. This means it will not look pretty whenever I add multiple line devs or multiple stories of line devs. We're gonna have lots of intersecting line depths, and it'll become a nightmare to modify one floor without accidentally changing all of them. So yeah, the Doom Engine essentially is why they haven't added the other floors. The Doom Engine. But I decided to stick to the Doom Engine. I, I'm used to the Doom Engine. It's like World of Kirbycraft. It's like the Doom, the Doom hack, or the Doom mod, or TC or whatever. It's the TC that demonstrates my knowledge of the Doom Engine. Not the source code because the developers are kind of stupid at times and will not explain explain about their modified engine even though it's not at all similar to Doom's original engine so how do you expect me to understand it? Oh, and perfect. It's the song that um, Trap Factory originally reminded me of. It's actually Paper Mario Tells Me Gore, but yeah. So I'll point that out. Trap Factory, when I first heard it, I was thought, yeah, this is just like, this is inferior to this MIDI. Um, no. I think Trap Phantasm is like a, a better one than Trap Factory, but oh well. It's good, but not as good as the, uh, but not as good as this one. This one is better. So the, uh, I think sadly I glitched out the, the sound part with the samples in it. Yeah, I glitched out the samples. It means you don't get to hear the airy fantasia, and that's bad. The airy fantasia makes these cold. It does not sound the same without it. Well then, we might as well play um random random French title that means five city. This is our hope. This is Five City, as I would say. <laughs> Not to be embarrassed, but still, yeah, Five City. <laughs> Not to say the other day, because if I said the French name, I butcher it. <laughs> I don't even know quite what they're saying, anyways. I just know the title. It's spelled a certain way, and I know how it's spelled. <laughs>
It, it, it's four more as hell. But interestingly, I could do wall jump off of a slope here. This is actually a slope. But you can tell it, it glitches up a second later. I wonder why. Because the invisible object should be hitting this wall. But it's not. Oh, and there's uh, GZ dudes. Uh, no, GZ Doom, but it's GZ Doom and Z Dooms. Allowing you to run up any slope in the game. Yeah, this very steep slope. Would you be surprised if I told you you can actually run up this thing? Yes. This is the problem with the slopes in Z Doom. For one point, you, you, you stick halfway up the slope. Then you fly up the whole lighthouse! Yes, this is my redesign of Kirby Air Ride's lighthouse, yes. Yeah, no more swirly designs on it now, it's just this. Because I don't want to have to mess with 3D floors on top of the slope. But yeah, keep jumping and if you don't randomly wall jump, then you'll make it up. Oh, and look. Fake 3D render right there. I don't think that's Overlapping Mary game. So don't make it Overlap Mary. Oh, and it does not want me to go up this wall. And then it decides... How does it decide that my momentum dropped enough to do a wall jump? My momentum didn't even change at all. I think that the momentum code works totally separately from everything else. It seems to be really hard to do with Mary. Oh, and by the way, I, I named it City Trial here. Its actual internal name is Hell City. I named it City Trial just because I worry how many people played Kirby Air Ride? How many people are going to recognize that this is supposed to be City Trial's map in the Doom Engine? And yes, I am planning on remaking the whole city. Wait, wait, wait. I wish he just did roll something. Is there a way to quickly load it up without wasting any more time? Maybe then we can hear the foreign words in the in, in this song. It would fit more. Then we try to come up with the translation that doesn't sound near as cool as what it is. Is that right here? No, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, I'm sure it's here. I don't think. I think it is. Wait, why is, there, why is, why is this thing missing now? I would butcher its name. <laughs> yes, yeah, because each of them have a specific name. No, where is it? There! That! My, my, my mind remembers that. But when it comes to the this is our hope part, that's where it starts going, what? Not only that, but they don't like pronounce the I and R at the end of this and stuff. It's, it's more weird silent letter stuff that every language seems to have for some reason. <laughs> But, but when you hear them pronounce it, it's like, whoa, that is not what I expected you to pronounce it like. <laughs> but we might as well play Area D because Area D is some stuff. <laughs> and that's weird though, because it's like, you don't hear anything, but you hear that C at the beginning. But then. You know, the only thing is, well, that's like a cool symbol or something, because that's the only what it sounds like at lower volumes, but no! That's the voices! <laughs> they're very, like, muffled. It almost reminds me of, uh, I think Horse Moon Tree of Tranquility, which says, Horse Moon Tree of Tranquility! It's, like, all muffled and stuff on the title screen of that game. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that, it's a really muffled voice sample. <laughs> Here's the part of music. So you hear them saying that along to the song every time. That's the thing. Even my mind tries to have its own low quality version of the limitations of the voice samples. It plays the mini version and it sticks the voice samples over it. It just, it cannot play with other voice samples now and it's awesome, dude. But yeah, it's totally the mini version in my mind. It does not sound like this. That sample's different. <laughs> it's the mini you all are hearing. <laughs> and also, it adds that point of the dreams fun. From that NES version that someone made. That's the, the portamento to someone knows. What? Why are we doing so many wall kicks? I don't even look like I'm on the slope anymore, game. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to do this Z-Doom. Oh! Whoa! Oh. 
you do this in Kobe Ara to be impressive. <laughs> Nigga one, you know, insane the cover. It's like the trick recording is very slow. And if you jump then you risk the wall, you risk the wall jump out then. Because I want to play if you can get to the top of this thing. Now here's some important entrance out then. If you listen to that um, any NES version family tracker, you will know what chord of this is talking about. Have a rocky texture on it. It doesn't. The whole thing has a rocky texture on the original Premier Rod. Strange. Oh, uh, maybe just point out all the all the water here is through the floors as a standard. Well, as a standard for the curtain. However, there is a bit of no, a strange zombie with the fake 3D render. You will find this out more and more as you try to stick to the fake 3D render instead of just making it from the GZ and then making it the true 3D render. This is like my first new hacker or PC that I actually make with the fake 3D render in mind. And you can tell because as I said everything looks like it belongs, yeah, you should change something if it doesn't. But I just pull up that all the slopes have to go below the water surface, but I try to make it look like Premier Ride. Right? If it actually had swimmable water, I mean, the Kirby does swim in it. If they land in it, they will swim. But it doesn't look like right seeing totally opaque water. It's almost like a wind wiper, I want to do this rock tissue thing from. And I just thought the water is treated as the usual water. So if you stand beneath it long enough, I don't know if I knew the sound and all that. It's here right there. It literally treats it as water you can drown in. Even though none of it is deep enough for you to actually drown in it. Well, yeah, that's part of the limitation though. If the 3 floor goes through a swipe and you have it visible in one of these sectors, you will see it go through the whole slope. It does not cut off the water that the slope is. It either doesn't appear at all, or it appears all the way through the slope. 
Did I have fixed this? Did I split these two sets of the two? There's one half underneath the water and one half above the water. Essentially, both halves have been the they're having to go to the same boat. This makes it look like it's all one float, but it's not. Each of them are individually two floats. But they all make up one float. I have to get under and above the water. Oh, uh, yes, I know in the premier ride there's a second ramp here. I don't know if you found that. It was just totally designed for a different type of gameplay. It's another music off. And yes, I have a debug thing bound to L, so if you push L, he says, SHUT UP! SHUT UP! This is just another good song for Make Men CX. The MIDI is different. The MIDI, I think, has a really different intro to this. It sounds different. I don't think it builds up the drum to every time I this one. Oh yeah, there goes to be a singer here. Oh, it requires you to learn it? Well, that's a glitch. It doesn't require the debug mode to be enabled, but I make it for a split second enable and disable your debug mode to allow you to use no touch. Just call it the multiplayer class, since it's done over how to make the bars to check on a full color basis. The consequences of the system the game crashes and says the same way the system. I don't understand that, so yeah. Essentially, the multiplayer that always works, but no clip that will require the debug mode. I need a little alias in order to allow me to still use it without debug mode. I've probably seen it flipped on screen every time. That's another source code modification. That's flat rear. Oh, look how much faster you can get. And yes, I have to switch this around the water. And yes, the slope is not aligned. Yes, I have to split up the many different vertexes and make it a nightmare to edit. See, that's the problem with the game engine. The more complex the mold design and the more verticality it has, the more complex it will become. For example, these areas are really simplistic. That area will have four stories, and, well, not stories. The four stories overlapping, they're going to call it bombs. They're going to call it lots of overlapping vertexes and blind devs. Make it a nightmare to edit. Slopes with overhang textures? Don't be a nightmare to edit too, because that's when you can make the pieces and then you align them. Similar to what we're seeing here with this, which is individual to the floors. As well, yeah. You couldn't tell this is like a redesigned area from what, well, from the air ride. That's all I'll point out though. If you think that the remake can make things a nightmare to mod file. Once you make it too complex, it becomes really hard to edit. Uh, no, no, no. Let's play the one that sounds like Ice Cap Zone. <laughs> Ice Cap Zone. Back to <laughs> This cold story sounds like Ice Cap. I can't be the only one that thinks that. This area, also, there's also a separate sector here, it cannot be seen at all, it's what it's Zane. Zane reveals all of them, including all of those 3D floors over there. Those are all 3D floors right there. Ice Cap Zone. See that? That's gonna be like a fenced off area as a reference. It's almost like this is what it'd be like if the water wheel didn't exist. And yes, there's more complex slope splitting right here, by the way. And as you can see, there's only one bridge here instead of two. And instead of being an individual, uh, instead of being a full transparent section, it's not there anymore. Because 
because that would have to be a Sim 3D4 for a match up, otherwise it would have to be a main step for ones like that. And I don't want to make too many 3D floors for just this one area. Because yes, all those you see out of bounds are mainly for this area. If, if not all for this area, except for this one, which is used out of bounds. And I think it's also used for the river right there. I think that's the same 3D4, so essentially they all are made for this area. <laughs> look closely, you'll see that once again, just like in the first level, which has now been reorganized to be the second level, yes, surprise, that really long row will have an explanation to be really long. However, if you look closely, you'll see that just like that level, this isn't really a slope because it's a 3D floor, it cannot have one in the page 3 render. So yeah, if you ever see a Doom Hack of Mine, or a Doom PC, and it has these weird blocky slopes, and they're always water for some reason, then, well, that's just because it's designed to fake the render. And that's why all the bridges do this as well, instead of being arcs. They're completely flat. And you can also see the blocky slope water, which is easier to drown in up here. But look at that fade-out effect. You know that it's not done using brightness. The problem with brightness in the Doom Engine, especially in the Fate 3D render... The problem with it... is that if I went over here and this was done with darkness, we would see a big bright area around, around me. And it would look really stupid. It would look like this, essentially but always wherever I am. The Doom Engine does that for some unknown reason. The way I made it look like this, if you're curious, is I modified the light level, it, well, the light color and the fade color. The fade color is actually the same, but I made it be, well, I just made the light color change. I used GZ Doom Builder, Chessy Walk Builder X's gradient feature to make it change color from the outside to the inside, and I also did the same to the water if you're curious. So yeah, even the water appears to have that same gradient. Type in honor, because this is for honor. Then we can see this area. I'll probably stick a gate in front of it just like the original game. Oh, in area X. It doesn't say that for some reason, but only the mid says area X. So, look at that. It actually looks like it fades out. Oh, this looks like it didn't look really slow. Now it does. If you just wanted to say before there were gaps. Yeah, there were gaps in it, and it did not look good. I'm going to say in the older movies, it didn't look pretty. replicate that by sticking the gas picture up here. The hell with it because I know and yes this is also that second gas picture for the gas. And this is what areas now look like if I haven't planned out the slopes yet. Like, I'm worried that someone's gonna complain about this and they're gonna say, well the picture sucks. It doesn't have it doesn't have overhang pictures consistently in place. Even though once I place one there's a slope I'm basically stuck with it. So I'll make sure I'm actually sure that we're all working these guys slow alignment. I think this one is pretty much fine, though. This one right here is a reference <coughs> to Kirby Air Ride. There's a difference. In Kirby Air Ride, it's all rock. Here, however, it's just built with the grass overhang. But yeah, I, yes, uh, Kirby Air Ride fans, if, if I remember something is in the, well, in Kirby Air Ride, 
will put it here, like I will put the slope here. Because I, I remember too, because let's just say me and Madison many, many, many years ago, we would be out messing around in the freedom mode, and Madison would get on the Hydra and would go to the top of the slope. And I would just walk up the slope, and then she would like suddenly make the Hydra come at me at high speeds and send me flying. Yeah, this slope right here kind of has some memories behind it, therefore. So no doubt I would stick it here. The slope is actually slightly curved here if you look, though. And yes, there's no rails before you ask. Because I think those would only really work in Kirby Air Ride. If I could automate a rail... And if I can make the player object move along a path, that would be awesome. But sadly, I don't think I can do that. Only, like, monsters. And, well, and cameras. Only those can move along a path. The, the camera cannot. Well, not the camera cannot, but the player cannot. I don't understand why, but still. Oh, yeah, and I also made this area slope sort of differently than the rest of the land. The problem is, right here is where the city's gonna appear. The city's gonna be up here, along with the underground area, before you ask. I'm not looking forward to this area, because it's so complex. Not like the volcanoes or anything, but the city area in general. But notice, I'm gonna have to find out a way to, like, slope this downward. Problem is, I can't slope it if I'm gonna have that underground area at all. I mean, I'm going to try to have that underground area wherever possible. That means there cannot be slopes. Because these will be 3D floors then. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with those underground areas. I'm still thinking I'm going to have to make the player do a lot of solid teleporting whenever they go down one of these. <laughs> I just worry I'm not going to know how to interpret these next areas. That's why I just want to point out an interesting thing. In older... I don't know whether it was just DZ Doom being inconsistent, like with the mirrors and how they work in the fake 3D render where they require space, which frustrates every level designer of the Doom engine, I bet. It's, well, you think this is an infinite ocean. You think that I actually made all that? Well, the map proves no. That's actually a line horizon. In older versions of Z-Doom, I don't know if it was just Z-Doom messing around with me, but... Well, I couldn't... <sighs> I couldn't make 3D floors go across line horizons. But now, in the newest versions of Z-Doom, it appears they fixed that. For once, the Z-Doom developers fixed something. Now 3D floors can go over line horizons. And yes, there actually is a 3D floor here. And wow! Wow, that looks so bad without a color tint on the screen or whatever. Problem is, believe me, that will actually affect the color of what you see below it. So you can't look through it and see the sandy color. You would just see a bluish color all over the place. And due to the limited colors of the fake 3D render, It'd probably just make it all turn opaque, and then it would have the same problem as Kodera. But still, yeah, this is a line horizon, and yes, there is a 3D floor going across it. That is a big improvement. So the city, uh, just looking at the city, I know it's going to be a nightmare to make this thing. I want to implement a lot of it. <sighs> I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Oh, um, no, please, snake eyes, just cause. I've been recording for an hour. I don't think my commentary is good, basically, because my 
false behavior. Yeah, that's why. Because, you know, they're interfering a lot recently. They're trying to mess up genders of girls. It's messed up. Two and ten thing. Which, by the way, it actually has a ten fun song that the first ten was flat. I mean, this guy has the new part. Oh, by the way, this song is, is the faster version of the game over theme. <laughs> Still must be. Check after inventor. <laughs> I plan to nerf these a bit. But they make you stop crying a bit too fast. So the 30, it makes the character immediately start crying. That'd be kind of funny. As soon as you have that, suddenly Mary starts crying for no reason. Oh, now I probably should delay this. I plan to implement that protection thing now. Where, if you wait long enough and she doesn't cry, then... She won't cry as easily. If she had just finished crying, then, well, she'll be more likely to cry. No, we must play Blackburn. AK Area O. Yeah, AK Area O. I know them by their many names, not by their actual song titles, especially not Area D. Don't ever ask me to pronounce that. I was going to explore the Kaka Kachi Bujua. That's why I'm going to Area D, that's just Japanese. Ha! None of this why she run when she's crying to see this part run. <laughs> now she now should have a form of protection. Which is probably this here. I think we can now remove that um that try Whatever it is. Try super and try and transform. She slows down a lot when she tries. I can't be a buff for speed of it. Up when she's transformed. When she's transformed, she'll gain a slight punishment. In fact, her speed becomes basically identical to when she's normal. Yeah, so don't cry when you're transformed. You will gain a big speed loss. This this will make speed running as very frustrating. 
Cause uh, eh, you wanna make it past this enemy? Too bad there is no crying, you know, you're gonna be on your to make it past them. Give yourself a lot of health. Make my health bar glitch up. This makes you worry that it's overflowing and going below zero and all that. Really dumb design. Whoever decided to make it so computers when confused would just underflow their values instead of just staying at the maximum. But eh, uh, it's just computer logic. Apparently the next thing you do with the overflow is go negative for some cool reason. Tucker book. Tucker two. Hit me, Tiger! Don't miss me, Tiger! Tiger's so reliable. Here we go. He's gonna try. Hit me! Every time we don't hit her, she... Gains of information, and there we go. Bro, why can't you go higher than 50? Okay, there we go. It bugs me when it just bugs me when stuff like this happens. The number keeps decreasing even though it's logically increasing its guitar. Murray doesn't even care and just wants to cry. Dang, she's got hurt. Well, I make so multiply the pain count by two when she's already crying. Since when she's already crying, she stops registering pain correctly. Which is bad because the player deserves to hear her cry more if they get hit while she's already crying. Look how slow I'm going! I'm gonna transform. I go a tiny bit faster. <laughs> and where's my air dash game? I can't hate my air dash is glitched. I remember before it was glitched, they fixed it, now it's broken again. Art has the ability, but no, you know, you cannot air dash. Very messed up. Good luck staying away from these enemies, but they will keep hitting you. Increases insanely, but notice how when she's crying, it barely increases. This almost seems like an interesting design choice because it means you won't be stuck with crying forever. Hit me! See, it, seems, it seems like the number prefers to stay around 50. Because it jumps straight up to 50, but then after that, it stops increasing as much for some reason. I forgot what I was coming here to test, though. Except for that. I think that it really does deserve more of a buff whenever she's super. She shouldn't have her speed decreased as fast. Well, as much. So she should at least have a tiny bit of speed. Therefore, get ready to hear more crying. I know you don't want to hear her cry more, but you have to. There we go. Oh, whoa, it 
it, it took me up to 24. That, that's right below the limit where she starts crying more. Oh, and I just noticed. Look at the bars. They're now blue in, instead of red. They're, they're not as bright as I thought they would be when I modified the source code. But now, let's just modify this. Give health so I don't die. She's about to call me noisy. Yep. Yeah. It, it's like there's no transition between her crying lighter and crying a bit harder. I want to record a new sample of her starting to cry more heavily after a second. And then force the game to play that in between them. If I could ever find a two to cry both at the same time. Push me over on the watch. It's gonna become 50 or something. Nope. I may just point that when she reaches this level, she takes a bit longer. And you know, she's not done crying. See, I feel that that last phase doesn't last long enough. Like, it's not big enough anymore. Whenever she does the lighter crying, she doesn't really... Well, she doesn't really cry as, as hard as she usually does. Therefore, this has to be fixed. There has to be more of a time at the end where she sort of just whines about the pain. But that's why she says ow and makes a pain noise before she cries. And I want to increase the maximum limit that it can reach. Ah, oh, right here. It has to be increased that, so that that last part, she still can cry for an insane amount of time. The only way to do this is by increasing this. see why the, the crying doesn't seem to be as reliable. Here's where it, uh, I think those are the multiplications. Oh wait, I just, actually I just realized why that it's not working reliably now. I just realized why. Because of this part right here, if pain count is less than 50. If it's greater than 50, it doesn't even bother. That explains it right there. It's set to 90. To make it so that it seemingly rounds out around 100, but... Well doesn't go all the way up, although it's not like the players 
even be able to see this anyways. So let's change the wrong one. Now we should be able to hear crying for different amounts of time. Now crying can now become 100. <laughs> now it's summon enemies. Yep, it isn't working at all above 90. Now when they hit me though, now it should force me to be a 90 or something. Yep, 95. So, um, does anyone want to beat up Mary right now? Now you're going to kill she sounds like surprised now. How does she do that at the same time as crying? Wow. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, she's gonna show so one. Well, why does she breathe in twice before she does that? It's clear. Oh, thanks for hitting me. Now she's gonna cry away longer. Even when it's slow, you can still jump over the river. Well, you know, no, I can't. I bet people are going to thumbs up this video because of the crying noise, right? Yes, this is in the game, but I have to test it. Does it help an enemy chases me around and hits me when I stop? And still do a double jump. Oh, of course! Then he flips on my head. Oh, wait. Oh, it only does sound like crying. That's, that's the interesting part. It just goes, <laughs> makes a dull breathing in thing. Oh, yeah, it ended. Take this! Yeah, I recorded these while I was playing the game because otherwise my close behaviors would distract me otherwise. See, and at the end, she just sits there, reacting in pain. Oh well, it's like it's better at the end, that, that's more fun than hearing her crying. And how does that know to come after me? Look at that! Sometimes the Doom enemies don't seem as dumb as what the programming actually is. Oh, it's like, ah! Wow. Wow, I make Mary breathe in a lot when she cries. Wow. Oh, see Mary's face when she cries. Oh no! Don't hit me! Look at her. Look at her crying. Oh, when she cries, she only moves around. Oh no, 100! No! Uh, I think the crying boy is a bit too long though. Because look at this. Just keep in mind, I plan to make the enemies, when they hear you cry, become harder and like, or run away or something. Well, 
That isn't gonna that isn't gonna help make her stop crying, because if you beat her up more then Mary will just cry louder. <laughs> It's impossible to outrun the enemies too, so <coughs> if you're trapped then Mary's basically destined to die if she stays in the area too long. It's like see, it's like she is less reliant on combat than Arthas, and you can tell that. Because she can't stay near an enemy too long because if she ever gets hit by the enemy, then well, she might start crying, and then all the enemies naturally hate when she cries, so logically they, they also try to beat her up. And every enemy tries to beat you up whenever you're crying, which makes the meter go up. It's at the, since the number goes down really slowly, see, it, it's near impossible to stay away from the enemy long enough to have it wear off right now. It's like a wanted level in like a Grand Theft Auto game. It just sometimes it just never goes away. Cried like this, it isn't as satisfying as her um, louder crying. But this is only just designed for her just crying about her pain. Unfortunately, if an enemy hits her during this, then most of the time it'll just make her start crying harder. There's like no, there's like no in between phase. She's either crying a little bit or she's crying a lot. See, because that makes sense right there. They sort of barely hurt her there, so it doesn't have much crying. But if they hit her any more after this, now boom, now she'll be crying louder. Nope! One more hit after this. Okay, there, now she'll start crying louder. Yep! I was hoping it wouldn't damage me so much though, so it just get to 50. <laughs> No, 100, 100. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the cheating code can make them near impossible to hit. Because they keep teleporting over the head. Which makes it a nightmare to exit the water. <laughs> Take ticks. Just to demonstrate an odd thing about the crying, because the crying is an inventory item. If you reach a special stage, Mary will keep crying, even though she doesn't make the noises, because it's only a, it's like only a per level thing, it's not a global variable. Although, that can make Mary keep crying in the special stages. I probably should make her take away your crying inventory item so she doesn't keep doing this. Non-stop crying that will not end until you make her start crying again. Let's point that out. If I return to another level, she'll keep doing this crying thing until an enemy actually hits her. Uh. If an enemy hits her hard enough, then when she starts crying, now if she's able to stop crying, then the tears will disappear. Oh, let's just test out my theory about this. She should start crying near immediately because of her... Wait, why isn't she crying? She had quite a lot of protection right there. Okay, let's get hit. See if she 
immediately start crying. 61. <laughs> wow. That's it. She's gonna cry over this one little tiny hit. Ow. Now let's run away for a bit. Just to make that, that variable decrease, because it decreases every second. Now let's see if she can survive. Nope! She chose the longest crying noise, of course. So now I want to see if she lasts longer. If she doesn't get killed by the tiger! Ow. Tiger, you're not allowed to attack me yet. Wait a few minutes. Am I safe now? We can survive that. Nope, no, let's just get hit again. Still no crying, what's up with that? Wow! How much protection does she have? Wow, she either cries a lot or doesn't cry at all. For many minutes at a time. <laughs> Which is very sweet. Wow. Wonder if I type and take health. If the game will interpret that as, oh, you lost health. Here, have her cry. Oh my. Yes! If you take away her health, it treats it as you're getting hurt. At the moment, I can tell she has no protection whatsoever against crying right now. Only 24! Wow, it decreases slower than I thought. <laughs> How come before she had like so much protection? I remember the way to make Mary stop crying, by the way. I worry because it seems so incomplete to cut off on this, but I don't know, it's just I just don't know how I'm gonna fix this because I want to make it so that the protection works, but it's going to take way longer to implement. So... <laughs> She'll require a lot more juice boxes to stop crying now. Now this means that enemies are now more cheap. Cause look at that! One enemy can make her cry for a very long time. Wait, what? What is that render you just saw? What? What is that? I see a perfect ground going through him. Now let's attempt to calm Mary down by giving her lots of juice boxes. Sound like a really sad little girl, wow. 
So she's just crying non-stop. I, 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 I told you she was a cry baby if you didn't believe me. She's so cute though. It's like, after you hear her cry for a bit, you just want to like punch her in the face or something. But at the same time, then you see her face and you want to kiss it. <laughs> well, I'm kind of weird like that. Oh look, there's that old glitch right there. If the variable falls below a certain value, which will naturally, tricky out of juice boxes will make it fall below that value, then as long as the crying sample keeps playing, the tears will not disappear. And therefore, you can see the tears. They just keep falling while she runs around. Which we can sort of see right here. Look at all the tears. They fly right through Mary's head, if you look closely. Yeah, I kind of wish there was a way to have it collide with her face. Or make them not appear in first person so they don't cloud your view. I'm thinking that maybe I should make the, the, the crying even more of a weakness to Mary. It'll... Because this will really emphasize that she is not designed for combat at all. She might have weapons that lets her attack, but if she even gets near an enemy for too long and gets hurt, she's going to start crying. Not only does it slow her down, but it also could end up... I could potentially make her like have a custom weapon graphic of like her hands covering up the whole screen. Yeah, because, well, whenever she cries, she's... You can already see from these graphics... She sticks her hands over her eyes. See, when she sticks her hands over her eyes, she can barely even see. That's, uh, why is she crying for no reason? She's crying for no reason because whenever she transformed into Super, it took away all that health, and the game's like, oh no, it took away a giant amount. I bet if I removed the maximum cap for it, I could just see how high that thing is actually trying to go. Might ask, can you do that? Yes, but also let me just demonstrate another oddity here. They comment these out just to show you a bit of strangeness. Just gonna remove that. Yeah, just gonna remove these. Wait, I just was. This code only runs if it's greater than 12. That means that she never gains any protection against when she cries. But how come that one time the enemy had hit her a bunch of times before she actually started crying? That doesn't make sense. I just want to see how, just how much the game is trying to make her cry. By commenting out the limit, we can find out. We can find out just how bad that her crying can become. Wait, what did that just say? Corrupt 1000? What? Look, that's on video. I'm gonna be able to see what that weird thing said. Something corrupt 1000. See next game. There are, there is, there is interrupt. Oh, okay, that's what it said. What is that right? Was it like professional, professional error? Yeah, it's a professional error. Oh well, let's just see how ridiculously high it gets if an enemy hits me enough. Give health. Let's have this enemy hit me a bunch of times and. How does anyone else in the side like that hit me? <gasps> hit me! Make me cry! Make me cry, tiger! <gasps> The tiger only aims at me directly if I hit him. Hello. Yes, cry. Cry louder, Mary. Cry a lot. Oh yeah, remember that code actually stops working once it becomes over 90. Something tells me the dancers can easily break that.
It's impossible to hit him with X kill, though. Let's just call her down, y'all. Uh. Or totally calm her down, that was not the intention. Now let's summon the dancing ghosts. Yeah, look at that, 159. Anyways, I don't want to quickly kill it before it runs its special code. See how many it takes to calm her down now. Yeah, that, I don't know why, but if there's multiple ones in your inventory, then it just literally makes that value go down as much as possible. By the way, the negative limit was not removed, but the limit to how high it can go is now being removed. So when I transform, if what I thought was true, then uh, the game, the game, whenever it uh, sets my health, it detects that as a big negative change from what it is right now. And then she immediately starts crying. Yep, see that? That's how much health she lost. Guess what? She'll be crying for that long now. Yeah. Let's just watch this. So she just lost 200? Look at that. Let me just demonstrate. I'm giving her a lot of juice boxes right now. And look at how fast that number's going down. Look at how every time it updates. It's a way lower number. And look at that! It decreases a higher number the more juice boxes you have. Give juice box up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now tell me that isn't one of the most annoying noises I've ever voice acted. Mary crying. I wonder, could I hear that sound in my dream? No, now that I've said it, it'll never happen. <laughs> you have to have a nightmare about Mary making annoying crying noises the whole dream. <laughs> Stuff. So we're gonna look at this cute little girl and think, oh, this that same girl that, 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 that made those annoying crying noises. Yeah, that, that small mouth of hers that's capable of a lot of noises. Still there. Yes, crying is a new thing. In World of Kirby Craft, a doom to 